Hi there, in this episode we're going to look at the different aspects of civil law. Now, civil law is a law that, a law case that does not involve a crime. It's a lawsuit. One person is being sued by another or one group is suing another. There are four basic different types of civil law. Contract law, property law, family law, and personal injury. So I'm sure you've seen those commercials like hurt in a car, call William the Tar. Um, that would be an example of personal injury law and it is a type of civil law. Now first up we're going to talk about contract law. A contract is an agreement between two or more parties or groups of people. They can be spoken, oral, or they can be written. If one of the parties breaks the contract, the other person, the other party can sue. Um, so for example, um, let's say your parents are getting a new roof put on their house. They sign a contract with the roofers. Um, if the roofers do a, a, the job and it's not a good job and your roof leaks, um, they need to either fix the roof or your parents can sue them. Um, we see contracts all the time though in our society. Um, every time you log on to the computer, every time that you accept a, an app, um, when you hit those terms and agreements and you hit agree, um, that is a form of contract. Even if you go out to eat and you place an order with the, the, the server, um, you are basically making an oral contract. You're agreeing to pay for the food after it's been cooked. Um, so those are all examples of contracts we see every day in our society. Next up we have property laws and these are basically the rules of buying and selling land. Um, landlords and renters also fall into this category. So let's use a roof example again. Let's say your family rents a house and your landlord is a slumlord. They don't take care of the property. They don't fix the roof and your PlayStation gets ruined because of the leak. You could sue because they were not not taking care of their property. Next up is family law. Um, and this covers things like marriage, divorce, death, adoptions. Um, for example, parents that get divorced, um, the court may set up custody. It could be joint where you spend so many days a week with your mom and so many days of the week with your dad. Um, but that's all settled in family court. Next we have personal injury. Um, personal injury is a result of a tort or negligence. Um, this is a lawsuit that's filed because somebody's been harmed in some way and property may have been destroyed. So, um, for example, if you have a tort, you're um, playing baseball in the backyard and you break a, a neighbor's window and it cuts them. That is a tort. Um, negligence is more like it's because somebody didn't do something they were supposed to and that's why you got hurt. Um, so if you slip on a wet floor, there was no warning sign that the floor was wet. That's negligence. Both of those instances could lead to a lawsuit, however. So let's look at a lawsuit step by step and we'll be doing a mock trial in class that follows these steps as well. So two parties have a conflict. There's some kind of argument, there's some kind of, there's something has happened, there's drama. One decides to sue or file a lawsuit. The person doing the suing is called the plaintiff. The plaintiff is going to speak with a lawyer and that lawyer is going to file a complaint. A complaint is the actual formal paperwork to start a lawsuit. The complaint usually asks for damages. Damages are amount of money that um, the defendant, the person who's being sued, would have to pay. So once the complaint is filed, the court sends out a summons to the defendant. This is basically telling them what's happening and when to come to court. In response, the defense lawyer files a written answer. Now, both lawyers have a time period, which is called discovery, to gather evidence. Um, and, some, and with a criminal trial, they have to actually share, the, the prosecution has to share with the, um, the defendant what evidence they have. So this period of time is called a discovery. Now, in a civil case, the vast majority of cases stop here and they come up with some kind of settlement, some kind of agreement outside of going to court. Um, usually it has to do with some kind of monetary system that's being turned over, but it's a, it's a private 
uh, matter and it's not going to be going to the court and as a result the suit is dropped next we actually if we get past that though we actually go to trial now it's up to um, the participants whether or not they want a judge to um, look over the case or if they actually want a jury either the plaintiff or the defendant can request that a jury um, look at a civil case so once we actually have the trial started um, we start with opening arguments this is when both lawyers introduce their side of the case the plaintiff always gets to go first they present their case and then the defendant presents back um, during this time though both lawyers get to do what's called a cross-examination they get to um, question and try to shoot down the case of the other side lastly we have closing arguments these are the conclusions made by the lawyers before the jury or the judge decides the case so lastly if the plaintiff wins if the jury or the judge um, is going to set damages and this is basically tells um, the defendant how much they have to pay um, they can also be what are called punitive damages this is extra money as punishment so let's say um, you were negligent of something and somebody got hurt as a response they slip and they fell because you didn't warn them um, if they if they have medical bills you might end up paying those medical bills but if punitive damages are added on you might have to pay another five or ten thousand dollars for the pain and suffering the person went through on top of their medical bills um, if the defendant loses they can always appeal um, and if if they don't pay if the defendant's been ordered to pay something um, it can end up back in court again as well because the plaintiff can take it back to court if a plaintiff um, takes it back to court because the defendant has not paid the damages um, the court may force them to pay um, and they might have their wage garnished which means that they contact your employer and they take the money out even before you get your paycheck or the property could be seized and sold at auction to pay what you owe so okay those are the basic steps of a civil case see you next time